in the last video we wrote an extended access list and the extended access list is right here and all we did was is we denied host 2.100 this host right here and we basically permitted everybody else in the network by putting in this line access list 100 permit IP any 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 source to any destination so this is access list 100 deny IP 192.168.2.100 this host right here uh, wildcard bits 0, 0, 0, 0, and then to the 192.168.1.0 network and then the wildcard bits 0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.255 0 .0 now with the wildcard bits it's the inverse of a subnet mask so um, so anyway this line blocked this host from reaching this network and then this line permitted any source to any destination so that permits these two um, computers here right since they're any source right or anybody we put on this network to reach any destination meaning the one network or this four network or the three network in between these two routers whatever um, and then this access list was applied on this interface which is closest extended ACL applied closest to the source this is the source right closest to the source which would be inbound on this interface okay and that was the command that did that so now what we'll do is we're gonna add another piece to it because with extended access lists we can also deny or permit a port or a service basically a different protocol we can uh, deny beyond just IP addresses we can also deny um, other protocols as well so what we'll do is to do this and we'll make it fun we'll go to the end devices here and I'm gonna grab this server and I'll put this server on the one network so I'll do that and then I'll get a straight through cable we'll plug that in here and we'll plug it into the server here right and then we need to give this server an IP address so this guy's 1.100 let's make the server 1.254 so we'll open them up and 192.168.1.254 okay and there we go and of course we have to give him a gateway 1.1 is the router gateway for him so now this server is up and running and if we go to config you'll see that the server has a web server built into it as one of these uh, one of the cool aspects of ha dragging out a uh, end client host server it's got the HTTP service a web server and it's on and you can see here so it's already ready to go so now we have a web server and I'm just gonna put his IP address right here okay if you want to double check it Put that right there hover over you can see it's correct all right so now what we want to do is we're going to adapt our access list so that we can allow this network web access port 80 access to this network over here but we'll say um, we'll just allow it only to this web server so we'll deny access to 1.100 so we're going to deny access to 1.100 but we're going to permit us to reach this server on port 80 okay and we're also going to permit us to allow uh, to reach the 4.100 network okay so let's do that so what we'll do is we'll go into our router and go to config now a command line and I made the command line a little bit smaller so we'll be able to see longer commands. And I'll type enable conf t and I'm going to start I'm going to remove the previous access list so no access dash list 100 so that clears the previous access list and now what we can do is we can write our um, new access list so now we'll say access list 100 okay permit and then we'll say TCP we have to permit the protocol for the web protocol with port 80 so instead of putting IP here we put TCP 
then we'll say source the 192.168.2.0 network 0.0.0.2.0 dot two dot zero network zero dot zero dot zero dot two five five is the wildcard bits right that's the source and then the destination one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot two fifty four and we could do this and put wildcard bits here zero 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 dot zero dot zero dot zero or we could put I believe we could put in front of this the host command so let's see if we can do that so we'll just do that here uh, host alright so permit TCP this is the source right and then this is the destination host 254 and then we'll say whoops go to the end and we'll say put a question mark and you can see that now we can put um, this we can the next command we need to put in is either a range of port numbers or less than a lower than a certain port number or greater than or what we're going to use is we're going to use equal to a given port number right equal to a given port number so EQ so at the end here we'll put EQ let's stretch this out so you can see it EQ and it's not stretching out far enough space 80 right so at the end here I've put on EQ equal to 80 and we'll hit enter alright so there's our first line in our access list permitting the two network from reaching host 1.254 on port 80 and then we'll put another permit statement so what we'll do is we'll say up arrow access list and this time we'll say permit IP 192.168.2.0.0.0.255 right so the 2 network from reaching the 4 network so 192.168.4.0 space 0.0.0.255 and then we hit enter and so now we've permitted access to the web server, access to the four network, and at the end of the access list is an implicit, invisible, deny any any. So it's not there, but if it was there, it would look like this. I mean, if it was visible, it would look like this. At the end of every access list is an implicit deny any if it's a standard access list, and if it's an extended access list, it looks like that. And that's on the end but we don't even have to write it because it's there we don't have to even write it now we already have this applied but if we were gonna apply it again we'd say interface fa 0 slash 1 right we would go into the interface fast ethernet 0 1 and we'd say IP tab access group access list 100 inbound right we've already put in that command so it's already there so we'll do a control C, show run. You can see that it's applied on the interface right there. IP access group access list 100 inbound is applied. And then there's our access list. It's just two lines. And let's test it out. So now we can go to 2.100 and we can open up a web browser and let's type in the address of the web server and hit go and there's the web page Cisco Packet Tracer right so here's a little web page that we reached so we could do it right but if we open a command prompt and we try to ping 1.100 the host is unreachable so we were able to reach 1.254 on a web browser, right? We were each able to reach the web browser on 1.254. We were not able to ping 1.100, and we shouldn't be able to ping 1.254. Let's try that out because only port 80 has been made available. So we'll try that out. I said 254, and it says we can't reach the server, but 
course and we did it we proved that we could do it even though we can't ping 1.254 we were able to reach him here okay and then last test is can we ping the 4 network host 4.100 we should be able to okay there it is reply so that was successful so that's it and I will um, change this access list to show our changes okay and I edited this text here to reflect the new access list that was applied and where it was applied which is on this interface inbound